These are the Stockmore watercolours. They're, they come in these little containers where you can mix the colours in and they're, they're quite watery. But do you know what? They are amazing. When first of all you wet your paper with the with the paintbrush and you make sure and then as I've done masking tape and your put put it on there and it actually looks more like a picture frame. It's really pretty. And you can just make the, the colours bleed in. It doesn't matter if it's gone all wrong. It's 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 um creating basically. There are loads of different colours that come in a set and also there's the paint brushes come with it as well and there's a little dabbing thing when your when your paint brush is done and you can dab it. These there are loads of different colours. I, I haven't counted them myself, but they're very interesting. There's yellow, orange, pink. For those of you like pink, blue, my favourite colour, yellow. Now I'm going to show you how to paint with watercolours. First of all, you get your br a, a brush and you get water. Put it in, make sure it's full. And you put it on your paper. You always must do this because it, it doesn't look nice if it's not bleeded in. You could do it if you wanted to, but it's nice if you put water on it. So you just use your brush gently. Each set comes with pots, as I've said. If you wanted pink, this is what you would do. Do you think that's enough? Add some water to this now. You mix it. Now, I know this looks really watery, but that's the effect of watercolours. I'm going to start painting. There's a water thing, remember, and it's going to bleed in. Now, you can see how it's bled in, can't you? When you finish with your colour, dab it on here. Wash your brush firmly. Now, I'm going to start with a different colour. You can see how it's bled in, can't you? See? Yeah. And there's lots of, you have to put plenty of water in on the paper. Now I'm going to start with a different colour, purple. It's very pretty. Comes watery and it doesn't look like it in the bottle when you first got it, does it? But then when it gets watery, it's beautiful. If you look after these, it'll last for a long, long time. You don't want it to be little and, and it'll be much quicker if you've got a big brush. Remember to put all the lids on your paints tidily when you finish with the colour. Now, I'm going, well, now I've finished my painting, I'm going to take off the celery. See what I mean? It was sort of like a picture frame. Always put the lids back on the paints like this. For another day. For another day. So it's a waste if you don't use them. You should use them for another day. Now I'm going to tidy away. 